All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goring Guitar Blink 182. A very, very nice song from them coming out there. Take me in. Really like this one. I like the melody, how it melts together with the, the strumming and everything. And yeah, nice song to learn. So if you are a Blink 182 fan, and if you love guitar, make sure you subscribe to this channel. They will be back. I will be back with other great songs as well. So smash that subscribe button and let's move on with this tutorial. Take me in. All right, so take me in. And uh, we're gonna do this with a capo set on the first fret. That is the absolute best scenario for us to match up with the sound and have the easiest chords possible. So we're gonna start with that and then go over the chords and let's see we have seven different chords to handle in this song. All right, so we're gonna start right away with the chords starting with C. All right, so that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. The next chord is the C major 7, so what you do there from the C is just to take away the first B string and get that open, everything else is the same. So that gives us 3rd on A, 2nd on D, open G, open B, and open E. Next chord is A minor, and that is open A, 2nd D, 2nd G, 1st B, open E. The fourth chord is the A sus 2. And from A minor, what you do there is just to take away, again, the first fret B string this time. And that will give us the A sus. Everything else is the same. That will be open A, second D, second G, open B this time, and open E. That's the A sus chord. We have now the F chord. Right, so that's a bar chord where you play the bar on the first fret and you cover all strings there. And then you need to add third on A, third on D, and second on G. The next chord will be F minor. So again, what you do there from the F is just to take away the second fret G string, and you will get that first G from the bar finger, all right? Everything else is the same, so that gives us still a bar on the first fret over all strings, and then you need to add third on A and third on D. That's the F minor, and then we had a final seventh chord, and that's the E minor. And that goes open E, second A, second D, open G, open B, open E. All right, so there we have all the chords needed. Let's go into the starting point here, the intro. We have a beautiful melody there, so I thought I would give you that. So we're gonna use now the C, and we're gonna use uh, all the chords that comes after that in the same way as the verse goes, this is the intro. So you will have both the verse and intro chord version uh, in one shot here. So that will be first the C. do here is to play the third A string together with first B, then one more time on first B, then open high E, and back to first B. Okay, that's the first chord, C, and then you go to the C major and play the same pattern but now you have the open B instead of first. So you're gonna play third fret A string with open B. And then another time on open B, and open high E, and back to open B. So that's the C and then C major seven. So. C and C major. You're gonna play that for two rounds. So C major, sorry, C, C major, C, C major, like this. Then you go to the A minor and play the same pattern. Now you have the open A string as the bass, and you play that together with first B. Another time on first B, then open high E and first B. Then you go to the A sus chord. Now it's the open B string instead. Everything else is the same. So open A together with open B. Then one more time on open B. 
open high E, and back to open B. Then we have the F and the F minor part left, and the F part first goes. So that would be to play third fret on D string together with first G, sorry, second G. So third D and second G together. And then another time on second G, open high E, and back to second G. That is the F part, and then the F minor part is to use, instead of the second G, the first G. So you play now the third D string together with first G. Another time on first G, open high E, and back to first G. And that's the final note of the intro. So with that, you also have the chord progression of the verse play. So we played C, C major seven, then again C and C major seven. Then we went to A minor, then A sus, then F, with a shorter version of it, and then F minor, like this. And that is the melody. Now into the strumming and the meat and potatoes of this song. That's the strumming. So let's go back to C chord and learn how to play that one with strumming, the verse play. So I'll grab that chord and we have a strumming pattern that goes down, down, clap, down. Very simple, like this. Okay, so two downs, a clap and a down. Couple rounds to get the feeling for it. it goes like this. All right, so we got that. And I need to mention we will have a split in this strumming as well. Even if it's very short, we need to split it. So the first part will be the first two downs. Okay, that is part one. Down, down. Right, we'll use that later in the pre course and even the chorus. So, first off, let's take a look at the verse play with strumming. And what you're gonna do here is basically to follow the same chord progression here as we played for melody, and I already mentioned it. You're gonna play one full string around per chord, so one on C, and there on all the chords. One string around, C, C major seven, C, C major seven, A minor, A sus, F, F minor, like this. Notice I'm trying to focus to do the strumming and really try to pinpoint the notes that differs from each other. So from C to C major, I really get this B string that's going on there back and forth. And then from A minor, the B string again to A sus. From the F then to F minor, we are on the G string. So I really try to pinpoint that. Of course, not only I go around the chords or sorry, the strings as well, but I really make sure I get these notes that makes the difference here in the corporation. All right, we played two rounds of that and that's exactly what you're gonna do for the first verse, two rounds of that corporation. That takes us to the pre-chorus. And I can already now mention that the pre-chorus and the chorus is played in the exact same way. So we have a corporation of strumming, of course, F, two full rounds, then G, two full rounds, Okay, and I can see now, perhaps I forgot to go through the G chord actually, so we have eight chords there. Surprise, surprise. We have to go through that now, and we'll do it with third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. And now we got all the chords. All right, so we're gonna play F, two full string rounds, G, two full string rounds, then C, one full string around plus part one. That means down, down, clap, down, down, down. The 
part one down now. Okay, so C was one full round plus part one. Then you switch to E minor and play just part one, the down down. So you just jump on that chord and then you play the final chord F for two strumming rounds. So one chord progression is F2, G2, C1 plus part one, E minor part one and F2. For the pre-chords, you're gonna play for two rounds like this. Okay, so there you have two rounds and notice you both start and end on F2. So that is the pre-chorus and I already mentioned the chorus is played in the exact same way. So you're just going to move on with the same chord progression for another two rounds and that's the first chorus. Okay, so the second round, no news there. The second verse is played exactly in the same way, two rounds of the long chord progression we mentioned, C, C major and so on. Then we come to the second pre-chorus, exactly the same again, two rounds there, and then the second chorus, two rounds there, in the same way as the first round, no changes. And after that, we are about two minutes and 36 seconds into the song, and we are now hitting the bridge part, it comes right after the second chorus. So we're gonna continue the same strumming. Now you're gonna play C for four string rounds, then A minor, two string rounds, and F, two string rounds. You're gonna play that chord progression C4, A minor 2, F2 for two chord progression rounds, like this. That's the bridge parts. Now into the final parts of the song, we are hitting the third chorus, and that is playing exact same way as the previous choruses, two rounds of F, G, C, E minor, and F. And after that, two rounds of this third chorus, you're gonna play one round of the verse play. So the one round on verse play, and that goes C, C major, C, C major, the A minor, A sus, and in this final round here, you will play F as the last chord. You will skip F minor, it just stops after F. And that, my friends, wraps it up for Blink 182's Take Me In. All right. So, uh, nice song there, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed yet to Gorn Guitar, please take me in as well into your family, or you can be a part of this family, Gorn Guitar and it's so motivational to see this family growing so thank you for the support guys and i hope to see you soon till next time play tuned <laughs>